When men and women meet each other and they like each other, I think life would be a lot easier if there would be no shielded hearts. If men would be open and honest, for example. Hey, I like you. I, I want to get to know you better. Let's exchange numbers and why not go out on a date and see where this goes? And there are men that do this. But in reality, because of a huge fear of rejection and total humiliation and then obviously the end of the world that then follows, a lot of men use a different approach. They are not direct. They hide their emotions and their intentions and their feelings. Some men are so under the radar and covert, even a professional spy wouldn't know what to make of their actions and reactions. For example, they may use an excuse to talk to you. They may try to be your friend first and hide their romantic intentions and plans. They may use an excuse to ask for your phone number and not say that it's because they want to go out on a date with you which will obviously also not become clear when they start texting you about stuff that has nothing to do with ever going on a romantic date. However, if you know where to look, they will be showing you a ton of signs that they are falling head over heels for you. So in this video, we will start with when you first meet each other and then the signs you will see during the conversations and so on. And we will also look at the things that you can do to speed up this entire process. So let's talk about it. My name is Geert. I'm an author. I also use the pen name Brian Knox. And first, in my opinion, relationships are a lot easier when the man likes you. <laughs> and I know that's super obvious, but what I mean is that when a man has really fallen for you, you get his best behavior. He will put in efforts, he will treat you well, he will have respect for you, and so on. So in my opinion, the goal is to only date someone who really likes you, who doesn't have to be convinced in any way or form. So here's how to spot that a man really likes you, even if he's trying to hide it for whatever reason. And there are many potential reasons. For example, maybe you work together, maybe he thinks you are way out of his league, maybe his friend was interested in you first and he's just trying to be respectful towards his friend, or obviously he's probably afraid of rejection and the idea of you turning him down, of you rejecting him, well, at the moment that's his worst nightmare because then he has to let go of the dream of ever being with you. And yes, some men think like this. Here's a great sign. Men are visual creatures, as you may know, and that means that if they like you, they cannot stop looking at you. If you're at a get-together or a networking event and you walk by a guy that likes you, he will track you. You cannot walk past him without him knowing it. If you're in his vicinity, he will look at you and he cannot help it. If you then look at him, then a player may immediately smile at you, but a lot of other men won't because they feel caught. They immediately look away. And this can happen multiple times during that event. Because he cannot help it. You already have an effect on him. Then after the awkward staring phase, he's going to look for an excuse to talk to you. For example, maybe at some point you're standing next to someone he already knows. And if and when you do, he will join your group faster than a squirrel that's chasing after a nut. Now during a conversation, especially in person but also using text messages, he's then going to start proving himself to you. So the more he likes you or the more he believes you are out of his league, the more proving he will be doing. One of the biggest signs that a man likes you before you have a relationship is when he starts talking about himself. And I know, if it's about himself, why would he be interested in you? Well, there are a couple of reasons why men show off. If they do it towards other men, then they're often trying to show some dominance or to gain some respect. Hey, look at what I have achieved. Look at my job, look at my car, look at my muscles. Now you will respect me, right? No? Uh, have I told you about my... When they do it towards a woman, they not just want her respect, but they want her attention and her love as well. And he won't always be showing off. He's actually trying to paint a picture of who he is and what he's about. He's selling himself to you, especially if you hadn't had a first date yet. He knows that dating apps are full of attractive muscular Vikings without a t-shirt on that you can pick from. Or men leaning on a Lamborghini rental car sometimes. So he may think that he has to make a difference by showing his personality and who he is as a person using words and stories. And please don't underestimate this. Every man that doesn't look like an attractive Viking or isn't famous, if he's really interested in you, he will not be flexing the huge muscles he doesn't have. He will be using words and stories to show you why you should be interested in him. There's a small group of very attractive men that get the attention from a lot of women because of what they look like. And all they have to do is just walk into the room or upload some shirtless pictures to a dating app. But then there's the huge group of men that believe that they need to prove 
why they are worth your attention and your time and your love and your affection and so on. And they try to do that by telling you stories about themselves. Oh, you studied marketing. So did I. I, I used to make the TV commercials for a big car brand. Important TV commercials. You have a dog? A Cocker Spaniel? Awesome. My sister has one too. A Cocker Spaniel. Yeah, I'm, I'm really good with dogs. I just hate cat. You have a cat? I love cats. Totally not allergic to them or anything. You play piano. Another coincidence. I love listening to piano music. I used to go to piano concerts when I was little. I'm still little. I, I wish I was taller like a Viking or whatever. But have I told you what I do for a living? And this, just like the looking part earlier, they cannot help. When men are talking to a woman they find very attractive, they start making it about them. You say something and his mind is already looking for how that relates to him and how he can use it to make him look important. So here's a first way to help him fall even harder for you if that's ever needed. Make him feel important. Not by lying or acting, of course, only if you are truly impressed by something he's explaining, but let him know that you are impressed. You can also ask him some questions because you showing interest in him really helps as well. Because again, when he's very attracted to you, he will often be trying to hide it. Most men over, let's say 25, know that even though they are falling really hard for a woman, it's generally a bad idea to put her on a pedestal and start worshipping her after only a five minute conversation or even after a first date. Most men, not all of them. I recently had a 24-year-old woman complain about men she went out on a date with that were then all over her after just one date. She then obviously lost interest because that was way too much too soon. And a lot of men have learned that lesson, but sometimes the pendulum then swings in the opposite direction and these men start hiding how much they like you. Because they like you so much and they don't want you to lose interest. So if you want to speed up him unhiding his feelings for you, Give him small signs that you are interested in him. Small. When he's explaining something, ask some questions about it. As a man, some of the ways we know that someone might be interested in us is when that woman starts asking us personal questions, when she wants to know more about us, and especially if she's then impressed by some of what we're explaining. It makes us feel good. As I always say, when a man likes you, he wants to be your hero. Also, if you're standing in a group and there are other men, Try to give him a little bit more attention than you give to the other men. That way he will also know that whatever he's trying to do to impress you is working. And yes, if he likes you, he is paying attention to how much attention you are giving to the other men. Another great sign that a man really likes you and that he's possibly falling really hard for you is if on top of the other signs, he's also asking you questions and he's impressed by what you are explaining. So in the conversation, he's going to make it really clear that he thinks you are very special. He's not meeting someone like you every day. He may also try to prove that there is a match. He's, for example, going to look for how the both of you are alike and compatible. And when he finds a compatibility, he is going to point it out. What? You like babies? You like kids? What a coincidence. I think we are a great match. I'm still very immature. I have the emotional capacities of a two-year-old. <laughs> Just kidding. Here's another great sign. Depending on his personality type, he may also try to help you. If you tell a guy who's not interested in you that you face a challenge or that you are not good at something he is good at or could help you with, he's probably going to ignore that. He won't do anything with it. If and when he likes you, he's always looking for excuses to spend more time with you. He wants to make sure he can see you again. And because you're becoming important to him, he also wants to make you happy, of course. So he will say, oh, I can help you with that. If that ever happens again, just call me. What's your number? See, under the radar tactics, now he has your number. Obviously, the more a man likes you, the more time he wants to spend with you, and he will find ways to achieve that. And if he's afraid to show his romantic interest in you for the reasons I already gave earlier, he will search for other ways to meet up with you. And that's also another sign, by the way. Time is obviously very valuable to all of us. A man can spend his time working on his career, on his Viking muscles, playing Call of Duty or some other game, watching sports or TV or movies. And all of these things will give him emotions and dopamine and thus probably great feelings. Or he can spend his time with the woman he's interested in because she gives him even better feelings. It's very simple. And by the way, what I'm about to say right now is only for the first stages of the relationship. So this will not last forever and that's totally normal. 
But in the beginning, and especially before the relationship has started, he will drop almost everything to spend time with you. Especially before the first kiss, when he's still unsure of your feelings for him. And then, when he is spending time with you, he will not be looking at the time. There are very few other places he would rather be than right there with you. And he will let you know that. I like spending time with you. I love talking to you. I hope I will see you again. Another great sign is that when talking to you, he's going to lean in a little bit. He wants to be as close to you as possible without making it awkward. He's also going to focus on you. Not a lot of things will distract him. He's not looking around. He's looking into your eyes or sometimes at your lips and mouth, which either means that there's still a piece of food stuck between your teeth or that he's thinking about kissing you. And then he's going to touch you, but again, under the radar, small touches on the upper arm, for example. And finally, he may ask you what your type is. When a man asks you what your type is, he's obviously hoping for you to say, well, you, and not, well, that guy over there, you know, the one that looks like an attractive Viking. Ouch. I hope you appreciated this video. There are more signs that I discuss in my other signs videos that you can find right here on YouTube, on my channel. If you want the deeper stuff, you can find that on BrianKnox.com or Amazon, where you can enter my pen name, Brian Knox, in the search box. I want to thank you for sticking around until the very end. I know I always say it, but that's because I really love it when you do that. And I hope to see you in another video.